an exciting day because my parents are arriving from Korea. My brother is having his wedding ceremony this weekend. It should be a pretty exciting week. Having a pretty light day at the clinic, so just gonna go get some lunch. Nice start to a week to be not super busy. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Of course. Got the Vietnamese rice bowl with lemongrass chicken. I stopped by the physician lounge and picked up a probe and a piece of fruit. She had pretty good snacks for physicians in the attending lounge. I have to like restrain myself from like snacking all the time. So this weekend is the wedding and I've been tasked with doing some of the table decor for the reception. So got a bunch of stuff from Etsy and Amazon and I'm trying out different things so hopefully it can look really nice. This is what it looks like. I have these like wooden base from Etsy, these little candle holders from Amazon, these frames from Etsy also. And then I um, got a digital print from Etsy and got these printed from Staples. Um, and all the, on the real day, we'll have actual real flowers delivered. So we'll have some fresh flowers here. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> Hello, my name is Indy Lee. Owner of San Francisco in the flower market. Why? I'm going to go to the market. 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 I'm going to go to So it's been a pretty busy couple weeks. Um, I had my brother's wedding, so I had a bunch of family visiting. The wedding went really well. The flowers turned out beautiful, I thought. Um, it was actually really fun putting everything together and going to the flower market and everything. And actually like doing all that really inspired me to just have more plants in the house because I remember just how therapeutic it can be to take care of plants um, and have like fresh, plants and flowers around. So I started a little patio garden. I'm gonna try to repot this. Okay. It's actually very windy here today and not as sunny, which is atypical, but I think this is like the edge of the Hurricane Hillary. I got 
just painting from home goods for like fifteen dollars, and I thought this was like a really nice fall vibes, late summer vibes painting that I can put up in my kitchen. And then I saw this thing on Instagram where you can make it look more real by applying some like acrylic gel on it. So that's what I'm trying to do, just like add a little more texture so it looks like a real acrylic painting. and I think it will look better. <laughs> dropped off Benji and here at the gym to get a workout in. Back from the gym and cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and I'm gonna make some lunch. I think I'm going to make this San Francisco style Vietnamese American garlic noodle, which I tried at a restaurant recently and it was really good. I didn't realize it was like a San Francisco Bay Area specialty, so I want to try making it. It seems pretty easy enough. Smells so good. Mm. Oh, so good. How can it not be? It's like pasta, butter, garlic, fish sauce, and all that good stuff. Let's check out my painting from yesterday. Maybe it's a little hard to see, but. Basically, I added some brush, brush strokes. Um, so now the painting looks, I think, a little more realistic. I don't know. It looks nice. This used to be my cat food container. Now it's my toddler's Cheerios container. Speaking of cats, I get a lot of questions about where my cats are. Um, my first cat, Candy, passed away in 2018 while I was still in residency. And my other cat, Ellie, is back in New York with a family friend. She's living her best life, honestly. I find that it's better to not go in with any kind of expectation, like, oh, it's going to be an easy shift or it's going to be a hard shift. Because you never really know what you're going to get. And it's just better to just, like, be open to whatever is going to happen. 
There were lots of patients today. I didn't get to eat. I don't know. I feel like I deserve a happy meal today. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Hi, can I have a, a, a six-piece chicken McNugget happy meal? What kind of drink? Thank you. Okay, you want